Hello guys, I'm Philip, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you an effect which you may know. It's the ghosting effect and it looks like this. And yeah, it's known... Yeah, the way you can make it is known in Sony Vegas, but not in After Effects. So I, I just tried different things and yeah. I want to share it with you. So, I haven't seen a tutorial about the ghosting effect in After Effects yet. Uh, so, maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe it will help you. Okay, so. We have to take. The clip. Like this. And. Go to the shot. Maybe we can trim it like this. Okay, we have to find our shot right here. And I want to tweak that. Um, I haven't done this in this um, in this example, but I'm going to do it right now. So set your input frame rate to the one of your clip. 59.94 in most cases. Um, yeah, go to speed, keyframe the speed at 100, go a few frames forward, and set the speed to maybe 10 or maybe 5. Let's say 5. So we got this. And that's pretty cool. So we can press U to see our keyframes of the speed and now just duplicate the layer um, now I have to think uh, maybe we can scale it, yeah I think we can do it so leave the tricks on the clip see still got it onto this duplicated clip just leave it there and go to the shot which is about Okay, maybe here. And yeah, trim the beginning away. So cut it away from the actual clip and do the same with the ending. We want to end it like like here. That's okay, I think. Um, how many seconds? Yeah, one second is okay. Maybe a bit longer. A bit more. No. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So now we have to change the transfer mode to screen. Okay, and you see it's uh, really bright. Um, that's okay. We are going to fix this later. Just leave it. <coughs> Keyframe the scale at the shot. Go to the end and set the scale, yeah, like hundred uh, percent. That's okay. Like the doubled value. I think that's pretty nice. Okay, so now we're going to um, fade it out here so that it isn't just away. We're going to fade it out from, yeah, the half of the clip. So go to the half, press T for opacity, key from the opacity at 100%, go to the end, key from the opacity at 0%. So we got this. And that's okay. But now the problem is we got this um, brightness boost from one frame to another. And we're going to fix this with some levels. So bring the levels onto this clip and turn down the output white to zero. Pretty easy. So now no difference. But we also got no ghosting as you can see right here. Uh, that's because the white um, disables the clip. You can say it like this. And we have to keyframe this value. You can't keyframe only the output white. You have to keyframe all of these values. So keyframe them all at the beginning. 
Um, go forward a few frames, like, yeah, and set it back to this value. So now you got this. You got the brightness boost, but it's not from one frame to another. And if you don't like this, you can, of course, set an opacity keyframe at the beginning, which is on 0%, and move forward until the scope is invisible or not invisible, you're out of the scope, like this, and set it to 100. That's okay. So now, take a quick RAM preview so that we can see how it looks like. Uh, just wait a moment. Very slow computer right now, but that's okay. So we got this and played. <laughs> okay, maybe disable the sound for the clips. You can see it's not that good, um, but this is because um, the ghosting is too long. I'm just going to fix this really quick and preview it again. And you see this is way better. Maybe a bit more. Okay. Uh, RAM preview. That looks nice. So this is basically the ghosting in After Effects. No Sony Vegas. And yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial and I would really appreciate some feedback how I'm doing and all this, uh, yeah, usual stuff. So maybe you're again on the boat um, when I'm uploading my next tutorial and yeah, see you guys later. Bye.